Meteorologist Thomas Patrick here with an astronomy related note for this upcoming weekend. We have a lunar eclipse visible across the U.S. and the entire Western Hemisphere. This Sunday evening you, you see a time lapse animation of what the lunar eclipse will look like for this upcoming Sunday night. The times that you see here are listed in Pacific time. You notice that totality is going to be between about 830 and just before 10 o'clock, which means for the East Coast, it'll be very much close to the midnight hour and the moon will go through these three phases as it crosses past Earth's shadow caused by the sun. Of course, the penumbral phase is the initial and the ending phase where that full moon will look just a little bit dimmer than usual. The partial phase is when that moon just starts to enter the inner shadow known as the umbra and of course totality when the moon turns that burnt red looking color sometimes known as the blood moon as well. That's the totality. It will last for an hour and 25 minutes where it is completely visible in its entirety. But as we look at the west coast of the U.S., well, the moon will be just rising as the eclipse is underway. For example, in Spokane, Washington, moonrise is at 8.14 p.m., and the totality begins just 15 minutes later. And also, for example, in Portland, Oregon, totality begins directly at moonrise. So this is occurring just after sunset, just after moonrise, but the entire totality of the event, the hour and 25 minutes of the lunar eclipse, the blood red moon will be visible very low in the eastern sky. So make sure that you have a clear view to the east. And here is a detailed map of who will see this upcoming lunar eclipse on Sunday evening. Most of the western hemisphere where you see on the left side of the screen, that's where the moon will be rising while the eclipse is underway. Hoping for good weather and clear skies where you are at for this upcoming event.